A new Broly is releasing on Dokkan isn't exactly a bold claim since we've had at least one Broly release every single year since the beginning of this game. No, seriously. In 2015, we got the original Dokkan Festival exclusive STR Broly. In 2016, we got the physical DFE Broly. In 2017 was the STR LR Broly. In 2018, we got the physical DBS Broly. In 2019, the Tech LR Broly. In 2020, the LR Broly Chila and Limo. In 2021, the Saiyan Days Z Broly, and in 2022, we still technically got a Broly this year in the form of the STR Broly during the seventh anniversary. But I think they gave us a bit of a hint that we're going to talk about in today's video that points to one releasing sooner than later. Now, I think it's super important to understand the release schedule of this game and how habitual this game is. Quarter four of releases for this game is stuck to a very specific schedule over the last few years. And this last October is falling exactly in line with the previous years with one small change. So starting out in October, we do typically get get a new Dokkan Festival exclusive unit to follow up the worldwide celebration. Last year, that was Kellen Khalifla. This year was the Path to Power Goku. Then in the middle of October, we typically get an LR. Two years ago, it was LR Turles in 2020. Last year, it was LR Hit and Goku. This year, they changed the schedule a bit because instead of getting an LR, we actually got two new Dokkan Festival exclusive units in the form of Gamma 1 and Gamma 2. Then at the end of October, we get another Dokkan Festival exclusive unit. In 2020, it was the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. In 2021, one, it was the AGL Trunks, and this year, yet again, another DFE in the form of Bardock. So that leads us into November, which is where towards the end, they'll do a Heroes collab and follow that up immediately with another Dokkan Festival exclusive unit. In 2020, it was Bojack, and in 2021, it was the Androids. And then that brings us into December, where we get introduced to a new LR that is typically on a double rates banner. That could be changing this year with the introduction of these new Carnival banners. And then they wrap up the year around December 27th and 28th with a dual Dokkan Fest. Before this double rate banner in years past, we got the LR Tech Super Saiyan 2 Gohan from the Bojack movie. And then last year in 2021, that's where we got the LR Future Gohan and Trunks. And then to wrap up the year around the 27th or 28th of December, that's when we get a dual Dokkan Fest. In 2020, it was PyCon and Janimba. In 2021, it was the Kid Buu and Super Saiyan 2 transforming into Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Then JP, of course, takes a massive break for January because at the end of January is going to be the 8th anniversary. Now, as I mentioned, we saw a massive change happen this year, where typically in LR releases was actually two Dokkan Festival exclusives to celebrate the superhero release. And more importantly, we have a massive release with other superhero characters looming in the darkness that could come at any point in time and totally change the schedule. Have you liked the video and have you subscribed because over 40% of you watch and don't sub? What? And I'll go ahead and talk about it in this video because why not? I do think there's a really good argument since we got the gammas in place of an LR that they might give us an LR with the Heroes collab. Now, people have been asking and hoping for an LR for years now. They've had it on surveys for years now. But I think for the first time, there's actually a really good argument to believe that we might see our first LR Heroes unit releasing this year. Simply because they let Gamma 1 and 2 release in that typical time slot that we would get an LR. So if we're looking back at past data, we're kind of missing an LR release at this moment. And I think done right, a Heroes LR unit could be very, very, very high. But back to the predicament we're in with incredibly massive superhero characters missing from the Dokkan roster and a new Broly release. So now that you're refreshed on the schedule, let's try to put the puzzle pieces together. Now, I'll go on the record and say, I don't think you release another Broly at this moment, and it's not an LR. Plus, if you've been sitting on a DBS Broly for literally four years now, now I'm not counting Broly, Chila, and Limo because at this point, I'm specifically talking about a Super Saiyan or a full power Broly, which is an absolute massive release for Koski and Bandai to be sitting on. And I actually can't believe we're four years out since the physical one released, and we haven't gotten another one. So if we're going to sit with the fact that I don't think you release a Super Saiyan DBS Broly yet again is just a TUR Dokkan Fest. The only real time slots that it could possibly work out here are you make him a carnival release, not just a standard yellow coin, but if that December banner is actually a carnival banner where they potentially bring back Metacooler or the Cooler Goku and you let DBS Broly be a carnival exclusive unit in December, that does make sense. The next slot that might make sense is Anniversary, which I absolutely believe Broly, especially Super Saiyan or full power Broly is a headliner level character and unit. Now, the one other caveat to this is again, superhero characters. Now, before I said, maybe they might sit on Beast Go on Orange Piccolo, all those characters for a really long time. Xenoverse 2's first DLC pack doesn't have either Orange Piccolo or Beast Go on. Dokkan at the moment only has the Gammas and no teaser or no anything of Beast or Orange, but Legends drops an LF Beast Go on, meaning the doors are open for them to finally use it in all 
the other games. That was sort of the, the question mark. The movie had been out since June in Japan, now here in the US since August in other regions as well. When were they gonna be able to release something? Obviously, Toei Shueisha, someone had a lock on those characters and would not let these games release them. Obviously, the games would want to release them and capitalize on the hype, and Legends finally opened that floodgate. So at this point, a teaser for a Beast Go on an Orange Piccolo could drop literally any day. They could absolutely be the New Year's Dual Dokkan Fest. Dual Dokkan Fest, Orange Piccolo, Beast Gohan would be incredibly exciting. If somehow we make it through all these releases I mentioned, and a Beast Gohan or an Orange Piccolo and a Broly are nowhere to be seen. And again, going back to the previous statement that the producer mentioned during the Worldwide Celebration, where he said that the headliners for the 8th anniversary, characters that had not been headliners before, I know there's been a lot of discussion since then about whether that could mean we've never had a Super Saiyan 3 Goku, so technically Super Saiyan 3 Goku could be the headliner, whether that actually meant truly characters, which I've also seen arguments about part two LRs and all of that. In my opinion, at least from previous structure of celebrations, the part one Dokkan Festival LRs are the headlining units. When you look at the year seven celebration, yeah, there were some ads here and there about Great Ape Vegeta and Kaioken Goku, but the headliners, the things that were the advertisement everywhere, the pictures they used, all of that were always the gods and the Super Saiyan 4s. So those are what I think they're classifying as headlining units. So technically Piccolo, Broly, and Gohan have never been headlining units for an anniversary. So as we approach these last few releases before the anniversary on the JP side of Dokkan, it's going to really clear up what I think could be happening for the eighth anniversary. And if somehow Broly is nowhere to be seen in any of those releases, then I stand by the fact that I think the eighth anniversary has a Broly in it. And a very exciting one at that, not just an SDR side banner Broly, an actual headlining unit Broly. My reason for this thinking, and this is a new one they've done, but if we look back at the double rate banner just released on Global, at least a few months ago on Japan, the two units were a Fasha and a Chila. And now that we're fast forward a few more months in Japan, what just released as a Dogon Festival exclusive, a Bardock, which Fasha fits perfectly on Bardock's team. So you take a look at the Chila, who would Chila be closely associated with, especially as a character that could be an LR or Dokkan Festival exclusive, a DBS Broly. So obviously you have your massive releases at any point that could drop like a Goku, a Vegeta, or a Fusion. And while we have had several Brolys in this game, he's somewhere where you don't get a ton. And I think they're sitting on three massive releases here with a new Gohan, a new Piccolo, and a new Broly that could come at any point in time. So let me know down below, do you think he's gonna be the Carnival banner? Do you think he might be involved in the New Year dual Dokkan Fest, or are you holding out for the fact that he will be one of the headlining LRs as part of the eighth anniversary? It's very key to note here that now that we've seen what they're doing with Worldwide, and they changed the entire structure where we got one LR DFE and one Carnival Banner unit released at the same time, and then in part two, we got another LR DFE and another Carnival unit, as opposed to the previous structure where we would get the two LR DFEs at one time and the two Yellow Queen LRs at one time. I presume the eighth anniversary is going to be the exact same structure as the Worldwide Celebration, and we actually don't see the structure from before probably ever again which in terms of releases i actually think that opens it up a lot to seeing a lot of really cool characters being headliners for the anniversary itself and so that's my theory while not a bold one because i think a broly at any given time could release and we're four years out from the last super saiyan dbs broly that did drop so he's looming somewhere around the corner i do think we have a lot of heavy reasoning to believe he's coming very very soon and within the next two to three months shout out to bruno for the crazy thumbnail art hit that like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye